long as there's no boogers coming out of my nose, I'm good, because I'm sick. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's your girl Alicia. If you're new to my guide, subscribe if you already have, tap the button to stay updated with my channel. Today I have for you a review on the Junk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. This is a product that I've been using for a little over two months now and I'm really excited to share with you my thoughts on this one because I think it's incredible and the results are pretty clear. My skin has improved so much. I saw results, I would say, two to three weeks at first i was like mm, and then it started to sink in and i'm like yes what i love about this product of course is the packaging it's bright fresh and fun and it also features this functional twist up which is really good for a product that contains vitamin c i find with a lot of serums that are vitamin c based they tend to go bad fast because they oxidize this at least protects and slows down the process of deterioration because it's less oxygen getting in, less bacteria getting in, it's just more sanitary overall. And I think this is really good for those of you who like to travel with your skincare product. Okay, besides the packaging, the product. I'm sure you guys want to know what's good with this. This serum has 15% ascorbic acid and apparently it's the gold standard. I don't really know what's up with vitamin C. I just like to put it on my face and see if it works or not. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And in this case, it really does. And I think it's because they paired it with two of my skin's favorite things. The first being ferric acid, which I just started using last year and I love. I feel like ferric acid is one of those things that works really well with retinol as well as vitamin C to increase the potency of whatever it's added to. So in this case, it boosts the brightening and youthful and evening out of the skin tone factors and properties that this product is supposed to do. And it also has vitamin E, which I feel on my skin is more of a soothing kind of attribute, but it's supposed to also help as an antioxidant to reduce free radicals and thus diminish the chances of wrinkles. But that's for you and your skin to decide. I just feel like it just makes this a more soothing experience because sometimes when you use vitamin C, ferric acid, retinol, or any type of thing that is supposed to refresh your skin, it can be a little bit astringent. This one is not that it's not that serious. I feel like this is one of the most gentle serums that I've used in a long time. So I suggest this for anyone who's tried something and felt like it was a little too harsh on their skin, because this one is, it works, but you're not gonna feel any sort of sensitivity or redness on your skin. I should also tell you that this has a lot of interesting things in there, like cross polymers and this thing called sodium hyaluronate that I've never heard of before. I'm probably tripping on that, but I'm still getting over a cold, so bear with me. And that is supposed to penetrate deep into the skin to truly hydrate the epidermis. It also works with pumpkin and pomegranate, which enzymatically, according to Sephora.com, work to slough off dead skin, revealing a smoother complexion underneath. I do believe the claims because I have seen the results. I have been using this in conjunction with UFO. So I use this at day and UFO at night. So I can't 100% say which one is better, but trust and believe that I really do love this product. And I wouldn't just tell you that because it's a pretty penny. This is a hundred Canadian dollars. I ended up getting it for 80 during the Sephora VIB sale and that's still hurt my wallet. <laughs> but I think this is a great product. It only lasts six months, even with the protective cover and packaging. So keep that in mind if you wanna decide if you wanna spend your coins on something more affordable to introduce yourself to vitamin C. But I think for those of you who've tried other vitamin C products and wanna treat yourself and get good results, this is a good place. This is a good product to go with. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And until next time, love and later. I feel like this is probably one of the most general, general, general? Yeah.